The next command I want to look at is the text command and there are two steps to the text command. You first need to set a style, the lettering style that you want to use. You'll notice this is in a fairly standard CAD type lettering style and for garden design we'd like something a little more elaborate. So we set a style and then we use the text command. The text command is here two-thirds the way down the draw drop-down menu but if we go to edit there's a text style option and up pops this dialog box I'll click new and we can give this a name we'll we'll call it um, plant name whoops I've got my caps lock on so I'll just repeat that caps lock off plant name so we've created a style when we get it right that we've decided on a name plant name. Once we've decided on that name we can use one of the inbuilt uh, CAD fonts in the uh, in the Garden CAD environment or we could use a true type font. So it's fairly complex. You, it uses Garden CAD can use a couple of different styles of lettering. Probably the simplest is we just call this one we'll pick Arial and use the true type font Arial but uh, maybe we might use Arial Narrow so we're using the Arial family if you like and then the Arial Narrow font and I'll set the font height at 250 and you'll see why in a little while we get a little preview of what the font might look like and we'll go OK so now a style that we've defined called plant name is in operation and the height of that font is 250 drawing units. So now we can put in some text. We want this to be, say, a Chinese tallow wood, so just draw text. We can mark a point here. It specify its height. It says 2.5 in brackets, so we'll go 250. That should have actually stayed at 250. Maybe I didn't burn that in. And now we get a little single line text editor and uh, put our caps lock on. Chinese hello wood and OK it in goes our label in the hello wood we've left out a W so it's just a matter of clicking on right clicking on there going to properties and then putting in another W China Chinese hello wood and we close it so there's our label going in and it's gone in in whatever was the current drawing colour which happened to be yellow that's probably not a terribly sensible thing to do we probably should set our colour to be by layer and then click on that right click go to properties colour to be by layer close that and then it will inherit the color of the layer. Now we're on layer 0 at the moment so that'll be white. So there's our text label in the uh, in the font Arial Narrow and I'd then look at that and say to myself is that a reasonable height for my text to be 250? I think it probably is. I might want to go a little uh, smaller and you can see that's also fair, going to print fairly thick just to to illustrate, um, I was just looking at Chinese, yes I think that's the correct spelling of the word, uh, to illustrate let's set another text style, we go edit text style, another new one and we'll call this plant name 2, gee I've still my caps lock on, not doing too well here, caps lock off, plant name 2 and I'll OK it. This time I'll pick Courier New um, and that will override Arial Narrow leave the height at 250 and we will OK it now when I use the draw text I can put my insertion point there it's now remembering 250 is the last text height and uh, this might be a canner in fact it might be I'll we'll put the cap stock on a red canner and we OK that. Now can you see the uh, the text goes in in that new style that's a CAD style and will be fairly easy to replicate. Um, I'd be inclined now to make my de style definition a little smaller so we can do that by going edit 
text style plant name to we'll make that 200 and we'll OK that and that changes it so that's now our style red canna and we can move it to be a little closer so we're going to have uh, a group of uh, mondo grasses along here so we could label those uh, these will be Liriops, these will be um, Agapanthus and we still haven't filled our information or any more information in through here we need these will be silver birch so we wouldn't mix up our styles we would keep our labeling of our text um, the same I think I'd probably click back on that one and go to properties and where it says style here plant name I can change that to plant name 2 and OK that and now you see our name our style of lettering now matches so we can work through so that's the the text style so there's two steps to it you define the style first and set its height and its spacing and the font that it's going to use but it's a good idea to use CAD fonts rather than Windows fonts especially if you're going to move your CAD drawings to anyone else they may not have the Windows fonts that you use it's not to say you can't use Windows fonts if you want a hand lettered font there are some very good Windows hand lettered fonts